In this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix the issue of iMessage and FaceTime waiting for activation on an iPhone running iOS 18. This problem can be frustrating when your phone gets stuck verifying the phone number. To get started, swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to access the control center. Then turn on airplane mode. After that, access the control center, turn off airplane mode, and make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are turned on. Now check if your issue is fixed or not. If you are still encountering the issue, then let's move on to the second solution. Open up the Settings app on your iPhone, scroll down a bit, and tap General. And then scroll down to the very bottom. Tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset. Tap Reset Network Settings. This will erase all saved Wi-Fi networks and passwords, so make sure you have them written down or saved somewhere else. After resetting the network settings, try activating iMessage and FaceTime again. This should help resolve the issue of them being stuck on activation. If resetting the network settings does not work, open up the Settings app on your iPhone and then scroll down to the very bottom. Tap Apps. Then tap on the search bar up top and type in Messages. Select it from the search results. What you want to do next is toggle off the switch next to iMessage. Wait for a few seconds and then turn it back on. Do the same thing for FaceTime as well. Toggle off the switch next to FaceTime. Wait for a few seconds and then turn it back on. This simple step can sometimes kickstart the activation process and get rid of the waiting for activation message. If that also didn't fix your issue, let's move on to the final solution. Open up the Settings app on your iPhone and then tap on your name at the very top. Then scroll down to the very bottom and tap Sign Out. After signing out, restart your device by turning it off and then back on. Finally, sign back into your Apple account and check if the issue is resolved. This simple process can often reset the activation process and get iMessage and FaceTime working again. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below.